Manila, I keep coming back to Manila. I walk the streets down San Francisco. That's, how good is that song? That's a great song. Now she's gone, and I have to say. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We know you're a, a YouTube sensation, so you've been in all the social medias, and and the Filipino audience really love cover songs. I think that the Filipino market is probably one of the most advanced musical markets in the world. People have a great understanding of old music, and a great respect for old music and new music. And I think, uh, well, we think, as long as the music's good, it doesn't matter what the age is. A good song is a good song. Yeah. We still don't believe it, Ronald. It's still very hard to wake up and we, we make fun of each other, this band. Everyone's just, there's a lot of comedians and we're always, <laughs> we, nev we never tell each other, hey, great job, we always make fun of each other. <laughs> At, in 2024, like this morning, it's still surreal. And if anyone asks me, did you plan it, Con? Did you? Nope. These are things you can't plan. We could never have imagined. It's been the most beautiful ride. And the funny thing is, is that it's just begun. It's, it's just begun. It, that, that even applies to Australia in different cities in Australia. Different cities in Australia, let alone different countries, yeah. react to different songs like a, a different city would. So I, I think absolutely on, on Sunday we're going to see um, a little bit of a different set list to what we're, we're used to playing in Australia. Um, and I think there's going to be different songs there that the audience, the Filipino audience, will react to differently to what we might play in Australia to the same song, you know. So, yeah, absolutely. We could, but I would personally would feel that, we've, we, that I'm cheating our audience. They come to our channel mm -hmm. to hear the songs that they know and that they love done the way HSCC does it, which is a little bit different than the original. To put an original song in there is basically saying, as far as I'm concerned, we're trying to sell you something. Mm -hmm. The only reason you would put an original song in HSCC's repertoire is if you're trying to sell something. <coughs> we're not interested in selling anything. We just want to play good music, uh, good music that stand, that stand the, that's the test of time. Hard work and perseverance. Yeah. Hard work, perseverance. Don't take no for an answer. Don't take no for an answer. Oui. And, if you, and if, you, uh, if you're doing music that you like, not, mm. not, not doing it because you think someone else will like it, you've got to do it because you like it. And, and if it's God's will, that that is your path, then that will happen. And I firmly believe with this band, because we've stayed true to what we do, and I can tell you as a, as a band leader, all of the guys in the band, this beautiful woman here, we, just, we do it because we love it and because there's a market of people like ourselves that want to hear it. So to answer your question quickly and to illustrate your point, which is a great question, do it because you love it and for no other reason. And I think the audience picks up on mm. that too. If they yeah. see you up there looking bored, mm. the audience will be bored. But if they see you up there having a good time and you're honest, as we yeah. said, in what you're putting out there, it's not always going to be lots of people. You start off to two people you, and then you build it up. You just got to keep, as it's we say. It's hard work. Yeah, it's, it's very hard work. It's 99% you know, insp mm. uh, perspiration, 1% inspiration. We've been doing this for... Forty every, years. Yeah, every rejection is just an opportunity for a yes. Absolutely well. correct. So, yeah. rejection, no, no, keep going, and then you'll get your yes. And it's in every field, isn't it? I suppose, yeah. in with radio stations, and what you're doing, you you start and you work your way up.
just the two of us. Okay, uh, Sunshine? I didn't sing on that one. <laughs> I didn't sing on that one. I didn't sing on it either. I didn't sing on it either. Yeah. Raindrops fall, and the beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through. Yeah, and just the two of us. That's you it. know it. We can make it and then if we, we, we recorded just it. Just the two of us. And then the man, the man that the sang it us. died, <laughs> unfortunately, Bill Withers. And it went, people were looking for him. They hit our track and it went mental. Good question. Yes, we've done a few uh, 90s and 2000s just to test the water. And whilst we're still 90% 70s and 80s, we will be starting to do a little bit more of that going forward because um, we've been going for seven years now and some of our crowd's getting a bit older and a lot of younger people have come in. We'll be doing some going forward. Are we doing anything room? You'll, you'll have to come to the concert yes. to find out. <laughs> at the New Frontier Theatre on Sunday. <laughs> Get your tickets. <laughs>